Uh, let's lose all gold for a rare relic. We get magic flower. Okay, that's kind of helpful. Unfortunately, money is going to be a problem. You cannot cheese it after you die. You have to do it mid-right. Mid-fight. Yeah, figured. So there's no real reason to go for the shop. I guess I could go this way. Hit the shop. Hit the mid-boss. Yeah, that's not bad. Hang right. Yeah, Magic Flower with the Flame is great. It is true. Uh, if I could get Bite, actually, that would be... It would be a nice run. Okay, bash, strike. We're good, and I should be able to kill him in the ne next run. Round? Round. There we go. No, I can't. Well, let's see if I get three strikes. I do get three strikes. One, two, three. There we go. It's actually probably one of the easier jawworm fights I've ever done. Okay, uh, none of these are good. Yeah, I forgot. Unupgraded Warcry actually costs something, which is no good. Yeah, so we're we're still on the early game. I wonder. Mm, no, I'm trying to think of like ways that this game could be streamlined. There are pl probably plenty of ways. I'm just thinking about it. It's like the early game on this is always kind of the least interesting because you don't get much. Uh, let's keep skipping these. None of them are useful. But I think it's just kind of one of those where you just go with it. Ah, uh, yeah, 250 gold. Regret kind of sucks, but we've got a merchant after the mid-boss. And I heal for 9 after every fight, which really helps. Like, that in and of itself is kind of amazing. Of course, still going to take some hits here and there, but... It'll mitigate it a lot better. And if I could get Bite on this round, or Reaper, uh, it'd put us in a really, really sweet spot. Uh, we'll just do that. I'll take, what, two damage? Yeah, that's fine. The development uh, Developers are adamant about patches. They may fix it. The main thing is just, like, you play this game... I play this game enough that, like, um, the... Beginning of the game gets really dull, really... Not really dull, really fast, but, um... You know, you're always stuck with kind of the same build for, like, a third of the... A third of the run. Um... Which isn't so bad, but, like... Okay, we get the anchor. It's kind of helpful. At least helps in the beginning, and I've got a whole hell of a lot of... I've got a whole hell of a lot of block potions, so I can use this. Um, but yeah, the the first third of every round is kind of generally the same, unless you, like, really end up with uh, something absurd. Uh, do I just do shrug it off? No. But yeah, the first two battles are so repetitive. Honestly, like, up until you hit the treasure chest, the entire run is generally always the same. Um, and to me, it's not like a huge misstep, but like, I feel like it could be better. Let's start chugging the uh, block potions, because I'm going to start taking damage. It'd be nice if you could draft a few cards to start. I feel like there should be an upgrade system, um, separate from the characters, jeez. Uh, let's see. I'm probably killing him on the next round. Um, how do I describe this? Like, okay, so I've I've maxed out both characters. After you max out the characters, ugh, come on. Well, there's our there's our strike. Um, I I feel like I, after you've maxed out both characters, you should then move on to like maxing out. Not your gameplay or anything like that. Ooh, shuriken. That's helpful. 
Carnage, Blood for Blood. No, none of these are any good. I mean, Clash can be kind of handy, but it's not what I'm going for. But, like, uh, for example, your draw pool gets really, uh... I would love to get Thread Needle, Bronze Scales, and Dreamcatcher, but Apotheosis trumps all. Let's get rid of Regret. But, like, um, so, as you unlock, every time you unlock, I think you unlock a grand total of what? 10, 12 cards for both characters? Um, so in the very beginning of the game, you actually have only a handful, and it actually makes it a lot easier to, um... Uh... It actually makes it a lot easier to... To kind of, like, have a good build and, like, know what your run's gonna be. Uh, which is why some of my runs kind of end up being these, like, weird wild cards. Apotheosis is overpowered with a small deck. Yep. Especially because we're up against this sucker. Um, three in each in lock, unlock, five unlocks. Um, thing is, though, maybe I should have started with Bash. Yeah, I should have started with Bash. Oh, well. Well, there's Bash and Defend. Not the greatest. I guess I could actually throw the Weakness Potion at him. It wakes up after the third turn. I was hoping I could lead with Bash, but I, I screwed it up. It's fine. We're fine. Shrug it off. Strike. Defend. Take no damage. I guess I could actually... I should throw the Weak Potion, but let's do that after he uh, knocks down my, my stats. Okay, that's freaking useful. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like uh, one like quote unquote persistent upgrade that there should be for uh for characters uh once once you've like maxed out everything, I'm just gonna start hitting this guy. He's gonna wreck my shit otherwise. Um, but like uh. We'll just hit him with that. We'll be okay. Probably could have acted. Eh, whatever. Uh, so like the the up upgrade that you get after you've maxed out both characters is extra draws. Uh, not like when you're fighting, but like once you've beat an enemy, uh, you have instead of three cards here, you get four. Uh, which would be really cool. I'd love to get anger. Uh, it would work so well with shuriken, but I think it's still a bad idea. Um, until we get spinning top, anger becomes a liability. Because it eventually spams my handful of anger. I don't really want that. Yeah, let's skip. Um, but, like, it would be really cool if, like, after X number of wins, you get four cards as a, uh... I'm gonna disagree with that one. It's not worth it for the the scaling money money amount. Um, but so like as you go further and further into the game, you get more and more uh, like little passive perks. None of which um, actually make you stronger. All of which just make it so you have more options. Uh, slight manipulation, even to the point where maybe I don't know you get. Let's see, I can do... I'll just do Bash. Makes it, uh, makes it die in the next round. I'm still gonna take damage here. Oh, but we've got the meat, so if I'm less than, uh... If I'm less than 50%, I heal a whole hell of a lot after battle. Alright, so Berserker runs a thing. I still need more energy generation. Um... But yeah, just more options, uh, even to the point where you actually get to start drafting. Like, I'd, ha I'd actually love a, uh, a mode of this game where you, instead of having strikes, defends, and, like, whatever thing, you actually get... Jeez, that helps. Uh, you actually just get, what, 11 draws, and that's just what you have? 
be awesome. Okay, so I can upgrade a card, transform a card. Let's transform one of the strikes into Cleave. I'll take Cleave. Might as well get that strength bonus. That weird, like, split splat noise that it makes. This is gross. I need some more free attacks. Unfortunately, Shuriken is... I want to say Shuriken and Kunai are just distinctly better on... Um, Shuriken and, and Kunai are just distinctly better on, on the silent because of how many free and cheap attacks that you can roll. Yeah, the other option would be uh, just an en endless mode will be a amazing when it inevitably comes out. It, or at least it'll probably be amazing. I don't know. Because, yeah, an infinite mode would be would be something kind of beautiful. Okay. Yeah, none of these none of these are any good. I really wish I had that bowl to increase my max HP. Let's see, will Wander be playing anything else? Uh maybe Horizon Zero Dawn or Dead Cells. We'll see. Okay, so I could upgrade No, there's no point in upgrading anything. But I should probably do it anyway. Let's upgrade Bash. Okay, this sucker. Might as well get that strength bonus, which is super helpful. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. I'd love to hit him with the uh, weakness. Is it just me or is he hitting me harder than usual? He is. Why is he hitting me for 42? The hell was that? Is it because I hit him so hard in the very beginning? Might be. Okay. Hit him with Bash. Make him vulnerable. We'll just defend. No reason to take damage here. Felt like that he needed a buff. Ugh. The problem is Hexaghost is like the number one killer of this, my specific deck here. Because uh, every time he hits me with... Oh, he can do Inflame. Wait, did they just patch this game? It kind of feels like they did. Because I don't... We fought him like a little bit ago. I... Huh. Okay, Cleave does one more than Strike. You're right. I wasn't paying full attention here. Okay. So he's still weakened. I can hit him for like 45 or I can bash him down for a little bit more. Let's bash him down now. You could always do in flame. Okay, no patch during my stream time. All right. This is going to almost kill me. I am almost going to die here. I am going to be very close to death. Because, yeah, I have to block the burns. Yeah, burn plus sucks. Okay. Defend. Cleave. Strike. So close and we die. 
Let me see if I can... Somebody had said scum it. I ha I'm not dead yet. Let's see what happens when I try and scum it. Uh, scum it. Well, I think I die. I was live. I had two burns, took off all my block, and then he was gonna then he was gonna hit me for the last. <laughs> well, this is an option. This is a less good option than the last one. Yeah, I thought you blocked his final. No, I blocked the inflame. Yeah, I count that as a death. Oh, you are absolutely correct on that one. Oh, god damn, I'm gonna get hit by this again. Let's see. Just so you know, if you scum too often, it will delete your game. Really? Bash plus, roll the vulnerability. Okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm down with counting that as a as a proper rest in peace. Yeah, the main problem is the burns stack up uh, really problematically. With a small deck run. And it feels like half the time when I try and do this, I just only end up burning. Oh, we don't have the strength bonus this time around. Or much block. I was wondering why I was doing less damage. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Best to try and kill him quickly before he gets to seven fires. The problem is he hits really hard. And I can't make use of uh, Shuriken or like most of my abilities. I'm actually going to do worse here. Because, yeah, he is going to hit me for 30 damage. I can shrug it off. I can defend. We can strike. Okay, so I'll take, what, 13? And, yeah, that gives me three burn pluses. At this point, my deck is half burn. And I'm dead again. I'm going to scum it one more time. Yeah, that starting 7x6 is really stupid. Yeah, I... I'm sorry that I'm being so um, insistent on fighting this guy. Uh, I just like... I know I can beat him. The problem is the RNG keeps giving us like... Really butt garbage rolls. Well, at least I can hit him with uh, three things for the strength bonus. Wonder it's a limited one time. You sure? Okay, so I could block this. I'm just gonna take the damage. I mean, what am I gonna do? Yeah, maybe go all, all, all out attack, just keep wailing on him? Maybe. So you died at Alt F4? No, I just saved and exited. Okay. Glee. Strike and strike. Well, I've gotten him further down. Bash. Cleave. Yeah, the strength bonus is going to save my ass. If it... if it did. It's going to hit me for... 16. Okay. So after this, I cannot afford. Uh, 
I have to... I have to fight him semi-slowly now, but that's okay. My strength is up. But yeah, with a smaller deck, this guy is uh, a nightmare. Strike. Cleave. I think we actually have it. But yeah, it, I the main reason why I'm scumming is this guy is just such a um, such a cruel find for a uh, a small deck. Well, there's limit break. And there's mark of pain. Mark of pain kind of sucks cuz the wounds, but I'd rather have the wounds than, say, the curses, especially this early on. But yeah, so um, my deck is currently four strikes, four defends, bash, shrug it off, apotheosis, cleave, and limit break. What's limit break? Power of skill. It is a, uh, it's a skill. I'm trying to decide. So I want to upgrade limit break. If I could... Get Geria to be amazing. Um, I could go this way here. Holy shit, that is a mystery machine that I should probably commit to. Even if it's a bad idea, some of those will be a shop. But yeah, Apotheosis, that's why you can have a small deck. Yup. Shrug it off. Strike. Strike. Balls. Yeah, luckily I've got Blood Vile, Meat on the Bone, Burning Blood, and all the other associated goodies. So I should be able to uh, have quite a lot of health uh, by the end of this fight. Should actually be able to kill him. But yeah, I'd, I'd really like to, uh... I'd really like to have some starting strength and upgrade the limit break if I can. Oh, well, suck. Gives me more dazed. I don't like the Chosen that much. If I could just have some attacks, I could kill him. Well, it's okay. We'll be fine. Yeah, so now we want to evolve, if I can get evolved. Or first aid kit. Both are, uh... Both are worth. Okay, uh... Let's get another shrug it off. Let's see. 75 gold to remove a card from my deck. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. So I've got cleave... I'm going to get rid of one of the defends, I think. And remove all strikes, obtain five bites. I could lose the blood, uh, blood vial. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Let's lose, lose the blood vial, keep my max HP. Alright, so now I've got three bites. My deck is going to be a little bit fatter. However, I'm going to have so much HP. Add a card to my deck. We don't want armaments. I was hoping for Evolve to show up. Maybe dual wield so I can have multiple limit breaks? Nah, my my deck's so small I don't really think I need it. Like I'm actually halfway tempted to get corruption plus wound gain. No. I mean, I could get... I don't want Sword Boomerang. 
I don't want anger. Limit break is exhaust, so you do need dual wield for it. No, I don't. So you feel no pain. No, feel no pain is not useful. Dual wield and remove it a card. Uh, remove it a card shop. I mean, I could just get uh, another shrug it off. No, I don't want hemo hemokinesis. It's nice, but it's not that great. Yeah, I do have five strikes, so I don't want any more attacks. Burning Pact for card removal in the middle of combat. I really wish I could actually check to see what it did. Yeah, guys, stop asking for anger. I will never get anger unless I have the spinning stop top. I have zero strikes. I have bites. Well, yeah, but it's the same thing. Yeah, if I had any of the cards that would hurt me... Actually, Combust. There we go. I didn't even think about it, but yeah, Combust is perfect here. I hate these guys. But at least we uh, start with some goodies. I'd like to do the the bite, but we'll do with it. Do this, yeah. These guys suck really hard. But yeah, if I can get uh, anything like hurts me but gives me the uh, bonus energy or whatever. Yeah, see, this is why I was kind of iffy on the whole, uh, or thinking about exhaust and limit break, is because limit break doesn't work that way. Okay, I gotta go for the guy in the back. Unfortunately, I'm still going to take way too much damage here. But yeah, limit break plus is not exhausted, correct. Which is why it's so good. And part of the reason why I wasn't so interested in dual wielding the triple limit break in one turn seems nice, but I almost would never use it. And it would clog my deck with a lot of uh, iffy garbage. But yeah, now that we've got Mark of Pain, uh, I can more or less heal myself. Or Mark of Pain, I can actually pull off the, the Shuriken combo and heal myself constantly. Not triple, quadruple. Times two, times two. Well... If you have an upgraded dual wield, it gives you three. That's part of the reason why I'm like iffy on it is I'm not sure how often I'd actually be able to use limit break. I'd be able to use limit break without it. Like I'd have three sitting around in my deck and it'd be nice, but half the time I need to block or attack or other things. I should have actually bashed first. Oh well. All right, so this is this is a really good run. I can limit break for two strength. Ah, oh, yes. And we get the ancient tea set, which isn't that helpful, but still. Okay, so brutality is awesome. More options. Okay, what's this at relic? It just means whenever I rest I I start my next fight with two two energy it's nice so combust would be nice brutality would be nice let's make brutality innate ups our chances of getting uh ups our chances of getting oh these guys apotheosis early so brutality combust Bite, bite, and defend. The yeah, beauty part is we have magic flower. So, uh, I heal for three, four? Actually, per bite, because uh, once we apotheosis, I get extra... Once I apotheosis, I get the extra energy. It's kind of great. Oh, jeez. Okay, you're hitting me for the most. Thank you. 
Unfortunately, we also have two wounds, so they don't do anything. And unfortunately, the combustion effect does not work here either. Oh, well, it's okay. We, uh... We have whole bunches of... HP. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I've got... Bash, which will just kill that bird. Limit Break, which doesn't do much of anything, and Shrug it off. I guess I'll, I will take some damage here now that I'm looking at it. Oh, well. I have two strength now. Yes. No. I should... I should start shrugging. He'll die on the next turn anyway. Yeah, so some extra hand... Uh, some extra, like, draw relics would be nice. I mean, really, just... Oh, Pommel Strike would be nice. Deal 10 damage, draw 2 cards. That said... I need... I need Shrug It Off. I think that's gonna be the last one. Pommel would be nice, but, um... Pommel would be nice, but I don't need it immediately. Okay, so we get the Bent Spoon, which is interdasting. Might actually be a problem. Okay, uh, let's upgrade Combust, because sometimes I will, I, I will often use it before I ever get the chance to do anything with it. Alright, let's offer some gold, get the Spirit Lantern. I'm going to start some of these combats with, like, tons of energy, and I'm not going to need it at all. Okay, Brutality... Shrug it off. Shrug it off. Wound. I'll bite the mystic and I can't do anything about the limit break, but that's okay. I am an HP machine. Holy crap. Yeah! I... I was hoping to go for a smaller deck run, but the five bites kind of go against that. Should have limit breaked anyway. No, I shouldn't. I had no, uh, I had no strength, and there's... Oh, if you click on it, you actually get descriptions now. That's neat. I don't remember that. Okay, and I guess I'll just defend again. Because, yeah, um, limit break, unupgraded still exhausts. And since I'm relying on Apotheosis for, for upgrades... Let's see. Shrug it off. Let's just nibble the crap out of her. There we go. Problem solved. Gets me the strength. I can now limit break if I want to. Best to kill the knight first. Fighting against his shield. Uh, no, because otherwise I'm fighting against the heal. Stupid bent spoon. I actually don't... I really don't like Bent Spoon. Yeah, so it does look like you can... You can scum reload. A bunch, and there is no consequence for it. I will bite him. I guess we only heal for four, and he does five damage to me, so it wasn't actually worth it. What does Bent Spoon do? It makes it so things don't exhaust. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, if it's like... You know. Apotheosis, which you only have to use once. Speaking of, Apotheosis, Brutality... Well, this kind of sucks. Yeah, we definitely need a larger start. Really, I gotta... It'd be nice if we could actually get the, the peace pipe. Okay, metallicize. Bite. Bite. Honestly, it's better to just keep biting him at this point. He's not going to do that much damage, and we already get the metallicize. Oh, I didn't realize the shell parasite was going to hit me too. Whatever, don't care. But yeah, Bent Spoon is really bad with Daze. Yeah, I... I almost wish I hadn't picked it up. 
In retrospect, I don't know if I get the got a choice or not. Yeah, I don't think I I don't think I did. Like I think it just gave it to me. Okay, bite, bite, shrug, and defend. We're good. Yeah, hopefully I get evolve. Yeah, it was a mystery reward. Yeah, I was like, I don't think I picked it up. That's it. If we get the branch and I get uh, if I get the branch and uh, I see corruption again, I might actually pick up corruption. We really need Dead Branch, though. Otherwise, it's not worth it. Okay, there we go. Now it's out of the way. Limit Break. Shrug it off. Bite. Does it heal me for four? It does. God, that is ridiculous. This is actually, like... This is a really good run. I was not expecting this to be the end result of what I was trying to do. But this is what we got, and I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah, I'm already back up to full health. I've been tanking hits. Left and right, it just means nothing. None of these are, none of these are any good. Okay, so I'm going to smith up... Metallicize. A yeah, peace pipe would be wonderful for this one, but oh well. Uh, let's see. I don't actually know if I need the dex potion for this one. This guy tends to be kind of a pushover. He takes my cards, which is annoying. Do shrug it off. I want apotheosis to pop up. I don't really care if I take damage or not. Yeah, wander. No. Yeah, wander. Do not uh, mess with the game files. They have anti-cheat measures now. It's kind of unfortunate. I almost feel like this is one of those games that, uh, if it detects you cheating, all it should do is. Uh, all it should do is just make it so you earn zero points for the round and unlock nothing. Oh, he does increase his strength. I forgot about that. I was about to comment on the fact that I haven't got Apotheosis back and it's because he has it. Oh, okay, good. I start with Apotheosis for next round. Apotheosis. Did it work? It worked. Cleave. Shrug it off. Bite. Other shrug it off, because it's not that helpful. You know, Barricade might not actually be that bad on this one. Oh, Limit Break... Well, this is going to hurt. I mean, I am the vampire, so it's not so bad. It's okay. As far as I remember, Apotheosis did not exhaust. So we're actually... We're fine. There it is. Okay. Bash. Bite. Shrug. And there's the other bite for a strength bonus that I can't get, but that's fine. Okay, so he's going to hit me for a bunch. Let's do a double shrug. And a bite. And another bite. Yeah, it would be nice to have anger in this, but we just don't have enough draws to really justify it. Okay, limit break. Bite. Or bash. And now bite. 
Yeah, the problem is this guy's strength goes up routinely here. Which is kind of rough to deal with. I guess I could take some of those hits, but whatever. At least I have a uh, limit break of my own. Let's keep using Apotheosis so it burns up. Give me a bite, damn it. Well, it gave me a bite, but it was too late. I could use the Dex thing if I wanted to, but I kind of don't. Alright, shrug it off. Limit break. Defend. Bite. Still gonna take some damage here, but we're fine. Yeah, considering my main method of dealing damage here is just actual vampirism. Makes life a little bit easier. Alright, uh, let's do bash, bite, and another bite. Might win at full health. I don't think so. This guy hits harder and harder as we go along. Which kind of sucks. But I am going to be stronger than him. Yeah, if he didn't scale up his, his own strength, this actually would be a, uh, a perfect candidate for the uh, unholy strength monger uh, fight. Well, I could do that at some point. There's got to be a regular enemy that I could do that against. I mean, I did say this would be a good good run for Barricade. Um... I could go White Beast Statue. I could go Orrery. Okay, yeah, let's just go White Beast Statue. I don't really want Ori, because I don't want cards. I mean, at this point, I could probably just beat this. Okay, so we want to go for shops. I've got, I got money, and I want to get rid of cards. Okay. So, Brutality, Combust, Defend, and Defend. Yeah, because we got to get rid of Writhe. Yeah, this is absolutely a good run for uh, Barricade. It's a bit tough to pull off. Ah, oh, Christ. That's a lot of damage. I mean, I am the vampire, so it's not a big deal. You know, this actually also would be a, uh, a good run for going hef hefty on the Barricades. Okay, well, there's Apotheosis, there's Metallicize, there's Barricade, and then there's just a Bite Plus to this guy. Okay, so now my block can carry over. Wait, don't I have an achievement for this? No, I've already got all of them. Win a combat without playing an attack? You know, that would be really easy at some point. And 10 shivs in a single turn. That's a little harder. Okay. And I'm just going to keep slowly nibbling away on these guys. And unfortunately, these guys kind of hurt. Barricade is great, but... Uh, this is a tough one for it. I think these guys got a bit of a damage buff. Let's just cut the damage. I don't have enough strength. I'd like to use the burn, but this is fine. Yeah, this is a potentially infinite strength fight if I wanted to. Yeah, unfortunately I can't... Uh... Uh, 
I can't necessarily carry it over. I could. Okay, so there's combust, which kills most of the damage, so I don't take it. Yeah, I've already I've already got the achievements that I think I could get with Ironclad. The other, yeah, play or win a combat without playing an attack. Purity could be possible. But it'd be rough. I guess I should have actually farmed healing there. Oh well. I'm gonna grab a uh, disarm. It's not the most useful thing in the world. But it could be nice. And we're just gonna skip. I don't I don't need any potions. Okay, so let's do Brutality, Shrug It Off, Barricade, and Shrug It Off. And we'll just wait for the rest. I actually, you know, this this would be a, uh, a fight to just... This would be a, a fight to just get all of my HP back if I really wanted to. That would be funny. I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna kill that repulsor. I actually could have just waited, now that I'm thinking about it. I'd almost want a body slam on this one, but I don't know if it's gonna be that helpful. Maybe in an entrenched, though. Maybe, I don't know. Hard to say. Okay, we'll do that. Unfortunately, I've racked up some wounds, but I can also just sit here and let Combustion kill them. Medkit would be awesome right now. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping it shows up in the pool, because Medkit would, uh, would make life a lot easier on me. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, honestly, Medkit just in general would, uh, would save, save my butt. In, like, a lot of rounds. Not just this one, but, like, any and all. Okay, uh, none of these. I'd like to get them, but I have enough attacks. They're all bite. Okay. Bag of preparation would be kind of nice. Ornamental fan would be... Kind of nice. Mercury Hourglass. Metallicize. I could get Metallicize in the Bag of Preparation, but I wouldn't be able to remove a card. I kind of want to remove Writhe. I mean, I'd love to remove maybe the Defense. The Hourglass. The Hourglass really isn't that helpful now, though. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of Writhe. And let's get another Metallicize. Lose all gold, gain a relic. I wasn't gonna have enough for this anyway. Yeah, enlightenment is useless. Singing bowl would have been nice at the very beginning, and yeah, I wouldn't have had enough money for this anyway. It doesn't look like we've got another shop up ahead, unless one of the mystery rooms gets me stuff. Okay, so let's let's smith. If I smith up, disarm. Super tempting to smith up barricade or disarm. Or metallicize. I'm gonna go barricade. That way, no matter what, I can use it on the first round. What does the mask do? Uh, it's just a one weekend at the very beginning. Alright, well this works, kind of. Combust. Metallicize, metallicize. drink and we hit him for one but we heal it works this will be fine I've got an energy potion too so I can roll with this do I have burst no I haven't seen burst yet unfortunately yeah nice part is uh 
now I at least do some damage. It would have been nice to get those scales, now that I think about it. Okay, uh, let's bite him twice. I don't know if the Nemesis increases his strength, actually. Oh, he gets rid of buffs, though. Well, that sucks. At least he didn't get rid of Barricade. Oh, I see. People are talking about... People are talking about silent runs. Sorry, I only look over at my chat occasionally, and so... When I do, it's just like, do you have blank? And I'm like, yes, no, maybe? And then I forget. Okay, so he does get rid of my buffs. He's gotten rid of my... Both of my metallicizes. Asshole. Well, as long as he doesn't get rid of my barricade, I'm kind of okay. It's probably better that I just kind of wait it out. I'm glad it reduced his strength. It doesn't look like he gets any more. And yeah, combustion is just going to kill him slowly. Unfortunately, those wounds keep showing up. If I see a Volve come through, I'm 100% picking it up. But yeah, we've got this. Normally Nemesis is uh, kind of crippling here. Yeah, if only you could limit break enemies. That would be nice. That would actually be really nice. Well, we just keep waiting. And shrugging and defending. And doing whatever. I mean, I can bite him. It keeps my health up. Doesn't really do much, because unfortunately that block doesn't go away. But yeah, we're good. And I'm, I'm really glad I, I picked up the uh, strength down. Especially because I uh, I can sometimes use it. I bite, bite. Uh, I can sometimes use it multiple times because of Strange Spoon. Does Vulnerable make him take two instead of one? No, sadly. I really wish I did. Oh. He's blocking again. I get the strength bonus. It would be nice if vulnerability would make him take two damage. And we win. Hell yeah. Yeah, going barricade was a good idea with, with this one. And we get gambling chip, which is really, really stupidly useful. Gain a vulnerable damage. No. No. Omomori is kind of helpful. Okay, oh, well, there's Dead Branch. But yeah, I'm dirt poor. Yeah, Fire Breathing wouldn't be bad. Dead Branch would have been cool. I could have gotten Combustion, but I, I'll be fine. Oh. Let's get rid of Bite. Limit break, bash. We want brutality and shrug it off is helpful. Shrug it off. Combust. Brutality. Cleave. Bite. I guess we'll bite the guy in the back. I have like no exhaust. Uh, yeah, you're right. But if I could get corruption too, it'd be amazing. Unfortunately, no corruption for me. Let's see, so now slay the spire. Uh for a little while. Uh this is this is gonna be my last run no matter what. Let's see. Might as well strength down him, metallicize, barricade, and defend. Oh, I'm out of energy. Whoops. Well, whatever, I'll take a little bit of damage, but that's fine.
because unlike pretty much every other run that I ever do, this run doesn't give too many dams. About damage. Or really anything. It's a good run. I like it a lot. I will, uh... I would say I'd use this build again, but unfortunately the relics are kind of random. I want to try and kill the Reaper. You mean the Nemesis? I already killed, I already killed the Nemesis. Uh, beat the tar out of him. I'm gonna get hit for 18. I guess I'll just do shrug it off anyway, so I don't have to carry over the block. Yeah, since we have such a small draw pile... Uh... Wow, yeah, go figure those wounds show back up. They constitute 10% of my deck. Let's see. Cleave. Bite. Shrug it off. And let's just go bite. I could go limit break, but it's not going to help that much. Be a good run to use the runic dome since I don't care about enemy damage. You're right. It would be... It would be nice. Use limit break. Eh, I barely have any strength. I could have used an inflame this run. It would have been nice. Okay, so there's Rampage Plus. Deal 8 damage every time this card is played. Increase the damage by 8 for this combat. That is exactly what we need. And after this, it's pretty much defensive stuff. But with the metallicizes, it's not so bad. Okay, Brutality. Metallicize. Barricade. Bite. Rampage. Yeah, so... Just a basic inflame to give me strength would be wonderful. Do Combust. Shrug it off. Bite, and then cleave. I like to prioritize boosting my strength a little bit, but whatever. But yeah, Rampage is great. It'd be nice if I could have two. Let's do Apotheosis. Disarm, which we get to keep, yes. Bite. I guess I should have actually waited on that. I, I should have done the bite last. Oh well. Okay, so metallicize, shrug, disarm, and bite. Yeah, just one in flame for the strength bonus would be amazing. Okay, so there's uh, there's Rampage again. I should have waited on that one now that I'm thinking about it. Let's pop the defense. I'll just bite him again. I really need to prioritize just getting that one strength. Until I get it, I'm actually in trouble here. Because this guy's going to do more and more damage. Okay, shrug it off. I'm just going to go full defense on this one. I guess now that I'm thinking about it. Because, yeah, I'm barely doing damage to, to this sucker. Power that gives me one strength when I take damage one damage from a card. Yeah, that would be amazing because I, I get two strength every turn. Okay. Rampage. Bite. Bite. And shrug. Oh, I could use a weakness potion and ener energy potion to make this a little bit more doable. Okay, uh, weakness potion. Shrug. Limit break, because we got to start scaling my strength up here. Yeah, I was, I was buffing my defense early, which is helpful. But it's not good on this one, but yeah. All right, let's drink one of these. All right, shrug it off. Bash. Bite. Bite. 
I could have waited a little bit longer. Shrug it off again. Drink another energy potion. Defend. Rampage. For 84 damage. Yep, that was worth it. Okay. We'll be fine. He still hasn't broken my guard yet. If I had entrenched, this actually would be uh, truly possible. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'll ha I have to prioritize. No matter what, I gotta get that. Uh, I've gotta get that strength bonus. One. Once I have that, I can do whatever the heck I want. And life is good. And yeah, Rampage my makes my life a lot easier. Oh, I'm actually going to take a hit from this one. Ow. Okay, so these are going to do 14, 15, 16. There we go. And that gets me almost back up to full. Up to full. We get Toolbox. That's useful. And another Metallicize. Gonna keep rolling mysteries. Find some potions. Swift and a fire. I can always switch them out for something else. Okay. Life is kind of good. Uh, let's get rid of the disarm. All of these except for brutality. And we also get good instincts. Thank you, good instincts. Brutality, combust. Defend. Gets me an extra wound, but I'll take it. I guess I didn't need the poison potion after all. But it's okay. None of those would have been amazingly useful uh, for the next for the next fight. I'd rather go into it uh, fully healed. Speaking of, this is kind of hurty. I could do cleave, but it would hurt. Screw it. At least I get seven, but yeah, I guess I'll have to rest at the bonfire. But that's fine. Okay. Barricade, metallicize, shrug it off. Might as well start stacking the defense, just so I can start healing. I'll be okay. I don't know, win or lose, this was a satisfying run. Really wish I'd uh, gotten the apotheosis bonus. Or not the apotheosis bonus, the uh, the start with apotheosis thing. That would have actually really helped a lot. Also, evolve. Evolve would have been equally useful considering the nuisance that is Mark of Pain. Okay, so I can freely do cleave here. Bite. Chunks off most of my defense, but that's okay. I can get it back. Thank you, the 10 metallicize is really helpful. I was originally gonna kind of grump about the, uh, the lack. Body slam could be nice. Flex. It's a start. So I could smith up anything. Because I'm healthy enough. Flex for the four strength. Or let's just get a random metallicize up. Because sometimes I play those before Apotheosis rolls around. Okay, and it's this dickwad. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of Bash. Let's get rid of... Sh we'll keep Shrug it off. Okay, we get Deep Breath, which is helpful. What's in here? Oh, Bash. Alright, well, let's drink the Swift Potion for more cards, which is really helpful. Okay, Brutality, obvious. Combust, obvious. Shrug it off. 
Deep breath. Metallicize. Bite. Rampage. Bite. That should give us our strength bonus. And he's going to hit me for 12. I'm not going to bother with the extra defense. Let's see, so Metallicize, Barricade, do I disarm him now? We lost it, I'll be fine. Oh no! We only used three cards there. Well, he's blocking. We have to use Apotheosis, no matter what. This guy's such an asshole. Okay, and there's no point in using any of these. So let's do Flex, and then Deep Breath. Puts him at six. I don't know if I'm going to be able to play six cards or three on the next round. We'll see how it goes. Probably four. But yeah, we got Barricade now. Which means between rounds, my Metallicize combo is going to go off. Okay, so let's just do Bash, Bite, Bite. That way I have a couple of things to work with. Dude hurts, though. Rampage. Shrug. Shrug. Kills the turn. We're fine. It'd be nice if I had ice cream, but yeah. Unfortunately, this guy scales up, but so do I. I just wish I had, like, Entrench or something. Okay, Flex. Limit Break. Cleave, defend, defend. Yeah, that 11 metallicize is going to save my ass. Not to mention my uh, rapidly scaling up strength. He scales, but he's not going to scale nearly as fast because I'm not playing. Um, because I'm not playing the silent. Shrug, bite, bite, bite. I'd like to get up to full health. It triggers the strength gain. In my opinion, this is the strongest boss. Uh, generally, yeah. I I would agree with that assessment. So I only get three this time, which kind of sucks. Shrug it off. Rampage. And bash. Oh, he actually did three damage to me. Yeah, originally when I fought this guy, I thought he was kind of a chump. I was very, very wrong. And I don't want to do deep breath. It's not that helpful. But yeah, he's such a heavy counter to most decks, it's kind of not fair. Okay. So, Limit Break doubles my strength. Rampage... Bite. Bite. Could have done limit break at the end, but that's this is fine. Okay, so he's going to block, and then he's going to prep to heal himself. I might be able to kill him before then. No. I'm not going to be able to. I can make him vulnerable. I can cleave him. And I'm going to shrug it off. Because there's no point in attacking him, I can't kill him. Oh, it was so close. But yeah, so he he heals all the way back up to half health. And I only get one card here. Which means I've got to just shrug it off. Weakness potion. Yeah, we'll do the weakness potion now. Probably should have done it before that attack. 
but we'll do it now. Luckily, I've got, uh... I've got some sweet stuff to keep me rolling. Bite. Bite. Rampage. Really, Rampage is gonna save this fight. I'm so glad I picked it up at the very end. Ow, he still got through my D. Well, it's fine. Because... I just became... Redonkulous. I do 48 damage. He's not vulnerable. Does he keep clearing his vulnerability? I... Either that or it uh, keeps wiping itself, itself faster than I'm expecting. I don't know. Well, one way or another. Bite and bite and there goes the time eater. Yeah, the the strength limit break. Getting flex was honestly probably saved my butt. Uh, getting flex on the same round as the limit break more or less made that run work great. Yeah, one more time for the achievement. Uh, no, I already have the I already have the strength achievement. I've had that that uh strength one for a while. Jax, yeah, I I have that. I've ended the fight with full HP. It was still scary. That guy hurts really hard. Uh, but being kind of the murder vampire worked really well for me.